Hello, Hoyles here, and today we will be uh, starting off where we basically left off, yeah. And um, <clears throat> today we will be basically finishing off um, Civilization Stage and moving on to um, Space Stage. Which is cool. Just buy this. <laughs> wow. This is really, really going good for me. Really nice stuff happening. <laughs> Yay! A whole lot of cash. You've bought this military city. Choose this city. Speciality. Economic city. Pretty good city, actually. I'll keep it that way. The nation is too big. Your bounties are too close. You attacked us. Yes, yes. Just as I guessed, I uh, accidentally attacked them. Oh well, it will not matter because I will now. Yes, I will now buy them out of existence. Oh wow. We are done Ultron. That's all I'm going to say. Because this just really reminds me of Donald Trump. You know? I mean there's certain logic in that because well Trump used to do uh, his kind of stuff. Like, just buying everything, basically. <laughs> Here, we can see the writing on the wall. I think it's time to fight no more forever. AKA, we've just finished Civilization Stage. How's one of my cities under attack? And it's really economic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let me just recap that. Um, going from the beginning, actually. Here, Metro Meteor. Evolving, evolving, evolving. A whole fuck ton of spikes. Evolving again, evolving again. Socializing, killing. Killing, killing. We've evolved. Socializing, killing, socializing, killed, evolving, people get killed, killing, bigger brain. Yeah, I should actually could do that. More socializing, more killing, and finally we just entered into the adaptable. And at the tribal stage, the Jerios was the first that we built. Then we allied with the tribe, we built stone axes, we made wooden horns, we allied with tribes, we built maracas, we allied with tribes, and became friendly. After that, we went to civilization, made a whole fuck ton of buildings and vehicles, built, um, purchased um, some vehicles. Captured by religious means, yet um, yeah, was that the nation that we um, kept on um, economic? Yes, 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 of course, economic, economic, and then these things got killed because we captured the city, and there was a rogue. No, an epic even. Then this, the unflying fuck, and the menacer. Military capture, war ended. Pretty cool. <coughs> Plane called Freedom Incorporated. Bought some Freedom Incorporated. Economic capture. 
Bought some Freedom Incorporated and Sparbox. And somehow that line went up, but then came here. And it's another economic capture. Two air vehicles lost. Fuck ton more air vehicles bought. More sea vehicles lost. Because we accidentally attacked uh, our friends. And then purchasing some cities. And that was basically the end. <laughs> Just purchase, 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 purchase. We've already lived for 2 billion, 411 million, 732,500 years. Impressive. Oh well. We are now going to build a spaceship. And with that, go to space stage. Which is actually going to be the first time that I ever really play Space Stage properly. It just looks like... Is it just me or does it look pretty F-17? Uh, or uh, modern fighter aircraft like? More of the... Basically, it's the um, Apache um, cockpit. Yeah, pretty much. That, then space stuff, <laughs> exo-arm, function plate, it actually makes sense to put them on the back of this thing, I said them, not just one. Why are these not cooperating? I mean, I want like I want them to face down. But no, no, we won't face down for you. You're not idiots. Yeah, sure. Make let's make it Tie Fighter esque. Tie Fighter. Yay. Then some wheels. Well, we do not need wheels. We do not need ships either. Air stuff. This is actually pretty cool. A military. Trident Ray. <laughs> what? What is this? What is this? It's a fucking Trident Ray. Yes, yes. But seriously though. Trident Ray. <laughs> you of course have it sticking just right in front of the cockpit. Basically make it so making it so you can't actually see anything but do I care? No. Why would I? <laughs> and some economic thing. Yeah, sure. Let's also represent our economic past by making two of those. Yeah, basically doing that. More extra taps on the military. Yeah, we do have extra taps on the military.
but I think it's cool like that. I'm going to name it the F7. Seven Thai, because well, Thai fighter. And of course, painting it. I just love this paint, so yeah. That's going to be our spaceship, the F7 Thai. The main counter, the observatory, money beak, entertaining wire, giant ball on the stick, the F7. <laughs> Of course I'm going to encounter an F7 tie because I just made it and I'm going to just encounter myself again. Which I don't really like but oh well. Now I have a spaceship. Yay. Lift off, you successfully developed a ship capable space light. The heavens bay. Beacon, the cosmos awaits. The universe at your fingertips if you can't learn how to fly this thing. Name your captain. Captain's going to be. The channel name? Congratulations, cadet. You got a fine ride there. We're still adding new equipment to your ship, but. We should have it ready for space travel in no time. Have you flown a spaceship before? No? Hmm, well, nothing like a test flight while well, the entire population of the, of the Vedana of planet Mexicana looks on. What do you say? Ready to earn your captain's badge? Okay, I'm in. That's the spirit. Each city on planet Mexicana has launched a giant orb in celebration of her first spaceship. Really? You can't miss them. Take, a sp take your ship on a spin around the planets to seven of our cities. Fly through the orbs to break them. Once you've finished, we'll give you further instructions. Good luck and try not to scratch the paint. <laughs> and what's down? Down is not. Is enter down? Oh, we can use. We can just use the mouse wheel. Which is cool, by the way. Just able to use the mouse wheel. On the orb. Right there. Okay then. Don't even have to switch heights. Or do you have to switch heights? Does it matter? Right there, there's one. Here's one. Oh. A bit lower. What is that? Come here. Oh well. Good job, cadet. For flying, with flying like that, you'll make captain in no time. Now that you're ace at flying, we're ready for you to use some of the sophisticated tools we've invented for your spaceship. We've been working on the ability to scan the planet and animals you discover on your travels. Looks like this tool com just, comes just in the nick of time. The Sporpedia record of one of her own animals recently became corrupted at the same time the animal started exhibiting some odd symptoms. We need you to scan the animal so we can collect more information about the species. Okay, I'm in. Fine. The creature in question is exhibiting an odd glowing trail. Her ship has been equipped with a radar tool that can be 
turned off and on in the main tools panel. It will point to mission targets and items of interest when you're when on the planet's surface. The radar beeps faster when you're close to your target. Select the scan tool from the main tools panel. We found them. Excellent, our scientists are eager to analyze the data. So, what do you want to do next? Get Sooks. The information you collected by scanning was quite valuable. It is now clear to us that we need to examine the species more closely. Your ship is equipped with an adoption abduction beam which you'll find in your cargo panel. Use this tool to, to collect the specimen and return it to us. The Use the abduction beam found in the cargo panel to collect this creature for further research. Make sure you deploy the tool long enough until the creature is fully secured in the ship's cargo bay. Stopping the ray too soon before your cargo is secured may result in less than desirable circumstance for the victim, or I mean specimen. <laughs> I'm just gonna take them all. I don't care about what you want. I'm just going to take some strawberry too. You know what? I'm just gonna drive to her city. And abduct some of our own people! <laughs> Looks like you collected the correct specimen. We'll need you to drop it off inside one of the cities. Select the cargo you want to drop off in the cargo panel and drop it off in the city. Make sure you beam it safely to the surface or we'll need you to collect another specimen and clean up your mess. So, we need to do this. And guide it down. I'm gonna guide down some wild animals too. Just for fun. Mesh should be fine work, Cadet. You've provided us with an excellent specimen to research. Probe twice, abduct once, I always say. It appears that the specimen you collected was sick and is infected with a virus that's capable of spreading at an alarming rate. It could endanger our entire ecosystem. Of course, we want to handle this compassionately. You've equipped your spaceship with an extremely handy mini laser. It has the precision you'll need to take out the infected creatures while avoiding the healthy ones. Select the mini laser in your weapons panel and aim it at the infected creatures. Be careful when you point that laser. It's capable of destroying buildings, vehicles and other spaceships. Now go, before the infection spreads further. Oh. Okay. He's killed. <laughs> Come on, just kill the damn thing. <laughs> just going to get a screenshot. Or a spaceship. <laughs> Okay, so we're all killed. 
Hello, people. Oh, a screenshot, just because. Laudable job. You're the right stuff. You've earned your homeworld, respect, and confidence. We want you to pilot the spaceship and lead the race forward in to galactic exploration and glory. You've earned the title of captain. Our scientists have developed an in interplanetary drive for your ship, but you'll need to install it first, captain. And of course, you have to buy it. Captain, get out your spandex suit. We're sending you on a space journey. We not. We suspect we're not alone in this galaxy. We spain. We speak. We have picked up strange radio signals from planet Holar in orbit around our home star. We want you to investigate. We command you, Captain. Mission control out. Yay, badge. Congratulations, you've earned the badge and title of Captain. Planet. This planet. I want to ins to inspect this. Something is showing up on the ship's radar. It's a crashed ship. It's a crashed spacecraft, and it's emitting a strange radio signal. Fly to it. Use a scan tool to investigate the crash site. Aliens, but no signs of life. Looks like they draw they drew some type of cryptic map before they died. Wait, the wreck has triggered a transfer beam. Some items are coming aboard. Yay, items. Missiles and an interstellar drive, which seems to have an unknown star core and its program into it. Programmed into it. The wreck's damage looks like it came from a fight. The, ship's m the ship must have been sent from some other planet to get help. But before we go to this other planet or this other star system, we have to end of the episode. So. See you next time. Goodbye.